What's up, what's up, what's up, you guys? What's up? This is Boy Randy. How you doing today? What's up, you guys? Mwah! I just wanted to show my face. How you doing today, you guys? Thank you so much for being here. Yes, you guys, I'm back. I'm feeling much, much better, you guys. I was down for a couple of days, but I am back up and running here to make videos for you guys so we can get our spring garden going, okay? Okay! Thank you so much for being here. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are always welcome. I love having you guys here. Thank you so much for being here. Also, if you're new, click the like and subscribe button down. It's down there. Yes. Leave a thumbs up. Thumbs down. Just the two middle fingers. Okay? Okay. Thank you so much for being here. Also, if you're new, slide on over to my Facebook group, Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy. Beginners and experts are welcome. That's the name of the group over there. If I can't answer a question here, I guarantee you, you can slide on over there and they'll answer the question for you because those are some question answering people. Okay? Okay. I love the group. Also, you guys, Leave a comment, share the video with all your social media. I would greatly, greatly appreciate you. So let's just dive right into this video. I'm going to make a short, quick video on grow lights, you guys. I am so excited that you guys are gardening. I'm so excited to see all of the members in the Facebook group who are sharing their photos and videos and everything that they're growing. And I'm seeing a lot of legginess, you guys. A lot of leggy seedlings. I want to catch you before it's too late. That's why we start early, because if we have a garden experience, not a mistake, a garden experience, we can go back and correct it. So today I just want to talk to you about why your seedlings are lagging and how to use your grow light, you guys. This is the most important thing when starting your seedlings indoors is your grow light. Okay, so I'm going to get a little technical. Y'all know I don't do all that technical stuff, because we ain't never went to technical school. We ain't never got no money to go to technical school. We ain't got no money. But yes, I wanted to show you guys... I'll uh, give you some details on everything you've been hearing in the videos when people are talking about the lumens and the calvins, what that means and all that good stuff. So first of all, when starting your seedlings indoors, you guys, if you're going to spend money on anything, get you a grow light. Get you a grow light or a shop light, a full LED spectrum light, whatever light you can get that has the appropriate brightness that makes the plants think it's the sun. That's what you need to get, you guys. And what you want to look for when you're getting your grow lights, you want the lumens to be between 2,000 and 3,000. Now, what the lumens means, all that is is the intensity and the brightness of the light, like the sun, you know, the bright morning sun. That's, that's all lumens means, the intensity and brightness of the lights. And that's what your seedlings need as soon as they pop the soil, you guys. As soon as they pop the soil. Do I have anything just popping the soil that I can show you? Uh, everything has pretty much sprouted, but let's show you this celery. See how that's just breaking the soil? Can you guys see that? See how that's just they just popped out? You want this right up under this light, just like I had it. Right up under there. But the brightness is what they need when they come out just like that. So that's what lumens means. You need 2,000 to 3,000. If you have a, a 1,000 lumens light, get two of them, and you can put them together, and it'll equal the 2,000. Yes, you can get multiple lights to come up with the total number of your lumens and kelvins. Now, what the kelvins mean... It's the type of light. It's the color spectrum. You know, like the morning light, and as the sun goes down, the sky turns orangey and all different colors. It's the spectrum, um, the color spectrum of the light. And that's all Kelvin's means, the color spectrum of the light. Okay? So when you're looking for your Kelvin's, you want to look for 4,000 to 6,500. If you can get 4,000, Go ahead and get 4,000. If you can get 6,500, even better. If you can get 3,500, go ahead and get that because it will work. This is a 3,500 uh, Kelvin light right there, a shop light. And you can find lights everywhere, you guys. Check all around. You know, you probably can go to your local, um, you know, Lowe's, Home Depot, anybody that sells lights and find you some grow bulbs, okay? But that's the most important thing. You want to get your lumens and your Kelvins. Uh, lumens, 2,000 to 3,000. Kelvin's 4,000 to 6,500, okay? Now, what happens when you don't have enough light? Your seeds get leggy. 
And what leggy means, I've corrected this one here. Remember the video I did on legging seedlings and we replanted them? Now look at them. See how they came back healthy? These were very, now some of them are still a little tall, but these are, this is just growth tall, not leggy tall. And these are some marigolds, I believe. So yeah, the, the thing with starting your seedlings, I'm noticing the legginess is because you're not putting your lights close enough to your seedlings. See how close this is? Whatever you gotta do to rig it up, rig it up, okay? Whatever you have to do to, to get your lights this close, I just have two little tripod stands and I kind of rig my little light up over here like that and pray that it holds just like that and leave it alone. You see how close that is? About one to two inches. You have to have it that close, you guys, at least for the first week. Yes, at least for the first week. Make sure that light is no further away than two to three inches, you guys. If you're using a light like this, let me just spin you on around. If you're using a light like this, you want your seedlings this close, literally. You want them right there. You want them right under there. And another way you can accomplish this task is to build your grow box. And I showed you how to do this. And I'm gonna show you my grow box down here. It's just a, 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 a clothes bin or toy chest bin, whatever you wanna do. And I just take some aluminum foil, shiny side in. And this acts as a reflector. So I would just put that in there like that. Put it in there like that. Put my seedlings in there. Like that. And this is just a hole cut in the top with the lamp. Stick it on the inside. And you would just take, turn your lamp on and stick it right down in there like that. And you see how bright that is? And your seedlings will do just fine and the reflection around the sides will also reflect the light and give you what you need. Now, the older your seedlings get, you can move them further away from the light. Like these are some Brussels sprouts and broccoli and eggplant. Now you see how far away? They're about six inches away from the light because they don't require as much. They have their true sets of leaves. Now they just want light to photosynthesize. So you can move them further away. And then when they get even bigger, like my tomatoes here that we're growing indoors, you can move them even further away. Now, if you have an LED grow light like this one here, this is a spider farmer grow light. It is actually almost the opposite of the other lights. With this spectrum light here, you want your seedlings about a foot to two feet away from the light, right? Versus being close, you want it further away. And I've grown all my seedlings with that spider farmer light. And as you can see, they're doing great. But yeah, with the spider farmer light, you guys, by being so powerful, and it has the full spectrum, all the Kelvins and Lumens that we need, um, yeah, you put your seedlings further away. And as these tomatoes get bigger, they're going closer to that light. You see that? Yes, you guys. And when you get your grow lights going, keep them on for at least 16 hours a day. I try to leave mine on 24 hours. Um, when I first see the first little hit of the soil being disturbed, and I know a, seed, a seedling is coming out, I turn my lights on and I leave them. Because you don't know what's going to come out in the middle of the night while you're at work, while you're gone to the grocery store, wherever you have to go. Hopefully, you're being safe. And um, you just don't know what's going to sprout up while you're gone. So always keep that light on. As soon as you see the first speck come out, keep that light two to three inches away. Just like that. Like I said, you know, I ain't got no money, y'all. So I rig up my stuff. And I just got two, two tripod stands. And they're holding my light. Okay. So yeah, you guys, I hope I helped you out a little bit on how to use your grow lights, and I hope you're going to keep growing. And if you don't have a grow light, please, please, please try to invest in one. If that's the only thing you have to spend on, get your grow light, you guys. Yeah.
save up and get your little grow light. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. You're the best. Don't forget, click like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Leave a thumbs up. Thumbs down. Just not the two middle fingers. Okay, okay. I love you guys. Don't forget to slide on over to the Facebook group. And come on back. Okay, God, it was Skinny Boy Randy. Tell him I sent you from over here on the YouTube channel. I love you guys. You're the best. Thank you so much. Remember, live, love, laugh, you guys. Grow stuff and eat it. You are the best. Thank you so much for being here.